one of a kind and I'm thinking... Every single bag has a little story about it, so you're going to find out every single bag, and every single bag has a little story, and you're going to be hearing it today, okay? So, bags, 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 bags. Bags are so, so, so important, but on that note, let's pause for a second. Hello, my beautiful star children. This is me, Anastasia Ark, and let's just go ahead and hang out. Today I'd like to talk about bags. Oh my god, guys. I got this amazing coffee right now because I gotta get some energy in this house. Gotta get some energy in this house. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and show you some bags and tell you. Buckle up, girls, and I hope you have a nice tea next to you or coffee or whatever whenever you're watching it. And I know you miss me and I miss you, girl. Mwah. I love you guys so much and I'm so excited to, for coming back and talking about something I actually love a lot and I haven't been shopping a little bit you know I have been shopping okay a little bit, girls you know let's I mean? start this party so let's talk about first bag I to call it tote bag mom bag businesswoman bag you know gotta go to college bag gotta go to school type of bag but I still want to look glamorous that's what I call this type of bag so let's start it up so first is this nice beautiful leather coach bag i just recently got it from my bestie hey bestie hey bestie coming on this video bestie you know what i'm talking about bestie what's up my bestie love you girl so this is the first bag so it's beautiful and it's gorgeous red leather inside this is the first bag i have not worn it yet but i love the size and everything of it so i am excited to wear it thank you so much my beautiful nadinka for getting it for me and i'm gonna go ahead and uh Enjoy it too. I am overall not crazy like a brand. I would love to have brand bag in a few brand bags in the future to put it out there. But at the moment, I am definitely um, not. A big owner of uh, lots of big collections of uh, different uh, big brands. Trusting, do you guys remember that when that style was a big hit as Michael Kors? Um, I don't even know what this kind of is material, but it's really nice. It still hold up. I I bought it for like years and years and still nude right here. So it's a really nice bag, which I'm sure I'm gonna use forever. I have in there guys I'm so sorry I can't show you the insides because every single every single bag got a uh, junk in it so I apologize it tells you something about me so I apologize a little bit more of a older bags that I used to wear like high school time and college time it's my guest bag it's actually uh, not a bad size the only thing I know I remember I hated it is it does not hold shape like I haven't stuffed it, I probably should stuff it and when I am um, keeping it, but it's like leather, it's still years and still looks good and inside it's a nice like a silky kind of fabric, but I remember just because it doesn't keep shape, it's so irritating, I can't, that's why I would never probably get a Speedy from Louis Vuitton because I think I would have just, it would have been money on the wind as we say dingy na vetro. Uh but yeah I still keep this bag I don't know if I'm gonna wear it ever or maybe at some point I'll give it away but I still have it in some my of the bags that I got it from you know gifting basically uh, my gift it's one of these bags like this I love this leather you can put it on the shoulder if you want to I did not show her the bag oh I'm gonna show it right now but this one is really nice it's really soft leather, you can put it on your shoulder. I think it's a perfect type of um, bag. It's it's black with gray as I love. It gives you a lot of space. Again, sorry guys, junk. But it's really nice. It gives you a cell phone pocket. 
and everything but i love this bag i need to just display it and put it they just take good better care of it because i love this actually bag and you can again just have it like this on your hand and i think it's like a perfect size and still like you can tell it's a really good quality bag and this bag emmy kestenberg love your stuff next one is this one this green leather is um hermes wannabe to say Hermes wanna be. So that was also my gift. It's a little bit more like on the wild side. It's definitely not everybody's taste, but you know what? Let me tell you one little secret. It does fit in and out for movie theaters. Again, I'm gonna say it. It does fit for two people in and out to get into cinema. So just saying, that's a hack, girl. That's a hack. So love this, and again, as you can tell, I a girl of leather and a good material bag it's a very important thing girls when you're choosing a bag make sure it's a good quality bag stay a little bit to get a better quality because i've got a lot of junk and it's ugh. i just recently throw away some bags because they're looking that i found in the thrift store and i love this bag i have not worn it and i think this style kind of already passed by but what i'm thinking in the future use it as a diaper bag hear me out girls it literally has just big space that's all it has they sell in on amazon this insert put inside here which will give it a shape and this is gonna be your flap so I'm gonna be using this bag as a diaper bag that's my plan for it it's a nice leather bag on a stroller like this perfect sizing this bag is from Roberto Cavalli I love saying that Roberto Cavalli I'm gonna tell you I went this is this bag has a nice story I went to a thrift store on Ventura I love thrifting on Ventura I saw this bag I loved it I also found another bag those two bags were different prices this one was more expensive the other one was a little bit less so the cashier, I don't know if she did it on purpose or accidentally, she scanned a lower price twice for me and I got this bag up for just like such a small amount. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I want to say like 20, maybe 25 bucks, maybe around there, but very cheap. It's leather. It's Roberto Cavalli and I'm going to use this bag as a diaper bag. That's a story of this bag. I love this bag. It smells like leather like insanely and it's really nice. And here you go, I'm gonna show you. You can definitely tie it up like this and make it, but ugh, everything says Roberto Cavalli on this. It's a really cool bag. I feel like it's something that one of a kind and I don't think I've messed up! Well, it doesn't look like they can look proudly because you can literally just close this thing. You see? I think positive. <sighs> Okay guys, I fixed it a little bit, hopefully it's gonna be fine. Okay, basically, moral of the story, don't pull on things too hard. Anyway, this is my bag, Roberto Cavalli, 
that I got at the thrift store. My diaper bag. Anyway, uh, thumbs ups. And I would love to see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you'd love to see more of um, my shoes or wallets or in any type of videos, I would love to do this for you. Love you, ladies. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your month. Enjoy your year. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.